everybody, I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to Alpha Craft. Up here on the mountaintop. Up on the mountaintop where it ran a pig. That's right. <laughs> and the world stops there. There is nothing beyond that point. Loaded. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, we're up here on the mountaintop. Now, I'm not going to go up on that peak right there, because apparently running up to that peak... I think that's the high point in the whole area. If I stand up there, somehow I start receiving signals of things that get into my brain and get me into some kind of trouble or something. So we're going to stay down here. But look at this. Look at this. I'm loving this. Oh my gosh, you haven't seen this yet, have you? Well, that's right, because I've been busy. I've been a busy, busy pig. Run to about right over here, and then it stops. And this is where the illusion gets ruined. Piggy breaks everything. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Let's fly to the edge of the world oh there is more world good <laughs> and look at that the mountain is starting to come together yes it is let's see can we can we settle right on top of the wall i don't know if we're gonna make it oh look at that right on the edge look at that Oh, it's so cool. It's starting to slowly come together. Yeah, I've got I've got a little uh, uh, table saw thing. I can never remember what those are called. The grindstone or not grindstone, but the thing you use to make like, you know, all the half slabs and whatnot. I've got that in the bed sitting over there. But I've been working on this part of the mountain. Decided to throw in a little bit of uh, like sparse trees making their way up. A little bit of snow up on the caps. And, and at the last second had this really really uh, crazy idea that seems to have worked well where we throw in some um, some berry bushes down at the bottom and we leave a little bit of patch of grass right in there um, and then just like path blocks <clears throat> so it looks like maybe right at this low spot dirt has kind of started to form you know from washing down and erosion and all that kind of stuff but this is looking great if I do say so myself <laughs> Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm in a little bit of a panic mode because Mojang uh, announced that they were going to break 1.17 into two pieces. And so what that means is sooner rather than later, they're going to be releasing a 1.17. And that means sooner rather than later, there will eventually be some kind of a reset or something happening. I've got so much to do on this base. It's ludicrous. It's crazy. Look, see this? This has taken me about a week. Now, I'm going to be fair. I haven't been working on it diligently in a week because I've got another series that I've been working on, which you probably already know about by now because it has finally, finally come out. But I've been that thing has been <laughs> bogging me down for like two weeks. I worked on that one episode for like two weeks. It's insane. Um, really proud how it turned out, though. But, but look at this. We got mountains starting to form. If we can just push ahead right in there, we could at least have the front half of the mountain done. I'll show you what I mean. Let's let's fly up here. And see, we've got we've got all this area still to do. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Let's do this. Let's land on top of their rooftop. Ooh, right in the face, right in the kissa. <laughs> but I've got I've got to bring it around right up in here. Then we need to work on these peaks. Right up in here. I feel like if I could really push myself and try and get that done, if we can get that bit done, that would be absolutely awesome. And then we can get started on the back end of the base. See, this back end of the base is kind of the whole point to why this base exists. I just fly down in through here and whoop. Oh, we didn't take any damage. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> but but kind of a line starting right in here and working its way to right in the back of the area right here is going to be the whole reason why this base existed in the first place. And I really have to get that done so that this whole place makes sense. So that it, you, you look at it and you're like, okay, Piggy, I've stuck around this long. I've watched this many episodes and finally, finally you get to the point, buddy. But <clears throat> yeah, so really going to push myself to try and get a bunch of this stuff done. We're going to see how much we can get done. Um, so I'm not going to reveal in today's episode what in the world the point to this is because I got one other project outside that needs to get done. You know what? Piggy, you got the power of flight. Just go ahead and power of flight all the way out here. We're going to fly all the way out here and fly on down. So out here, we've got a little bit of unfinished business going on. This right here. That's right. Now, I don't know where these guys came from. <laughs> 
probably going to turn them free. They can be like free roaming pigs. But these guys, all these guys are the different horses that we have worked on for the, uh, the Alpha Downs episode, trying to figure out a fast horse so that we could, you know, attempt to win a race. Um, but then I had said, okay, now that we've got these leftover horses, it would be nice to have somewhere for these horses to go. So that if you ever downloaded this map and you wanted to look at it, you could actually take a ride on this road around the base with the horses. So what I'm thinking about doing is somewhere right over in here. We can fly on down without getting height. There we go. Somewhere right in here. Ooh. Oh man, pardon me. You ever get that nasty little burp that you burp up stuff in your throat? Ooh. Oh man, that's probably TMI right there, but yeah. <laughs> Somewhere right in here, we need to build us a safe little place for all these little horses. So that way we've got some stables and we've got something for these horses to, to stay at. And somewhere that you could borrow a horse and take it on a ride, all right? So I've got a little bit of planning to do, a little bit of sorting out in this area to figure out and get to building. I kept thinking maybe I want to put something right in here and that might be what we do. Because I left this right here. That might be cool. Kind of like a little hobbit hole horse stable or something. <laughs> Let's go. We're just going to fly right on through here. Woo! There we go. I got to fly on through here so I can get to a bed so we can make it safe. So I can get some materials set up and ready to go. And we are going to try and build ourselves some horse stables. And also stick around because guess what? JC finally got enough footage built up from the area. She put that in my mailbox. We're going to use that footage and we're going to figure out what in the world has been going on. If you've been watching for a while, you know Piggy keeps having these weird little blackouts where something keeps happening around here. And we're going to find out with the camera footage, what has Piggy been up to when Piggy doesn't know what Piggy's been up to. <laughs> all right. So you'll just sit tight. We're going to get all this worked out and I'll meet you back probably out front in just a moment. I know, I know, this is not what you expected. Well, it's not what I expected either. <laughs> We're over here at Drama Smith's uh, uh, build, her, her base, her town, because I got something in the mail. I got two things in the mail. I got security footage, and I got T. Pigglesworth by Drama Smith. Let's check this out. Dear Mr. Pigglesworth, I write to inform you that I received the requested video footage from Miss Prime. It took some time for a forensic analysis of the footage to be carried out to verify its authenticity and that it had not been altered. This is, it, wait, this is, this in no way, I think is what it should say. This in no way reflects on Miss Prime, but is merely standard procedure. I've reviewed the said footage and Miss Prime has, to use a legal term, got you banged to rights. Uh oh. <laughs> it's clear from the footage that you accepted the contract to supply her with the diamonds in question. The results of your brain scan show no abnormalities or indeed anything of concern. My advice to you for the next course of action would be hypnotherapy, reg regression therapy, or a thorough or a cleansing. Is that like getting your teeth clean? <laughs> I have unfortunately been called away on another case. However, should you wish to review the footage from Miss Prime yourself, I've set up a video playback machine in my office. The key may be collected from the elves at the cafe at any time of your own convenience. As agreed, this is a no win, no fee case. Therefore, please consider the count settled. Yours, etc. Et Dreamus Smith, solicitor. Well, Drama, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that hard work. I really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> I need to see what this footage is, though. Now, I do have the keys. I found the elves. Whoop! Right in here. Sneaking around in there. Went ahead and got the key. And we're going to go over to Drama's uh, office. Let's see here. I think it's... I think it's right here. We can keep all these doors shut just so we can be safe. Yep. Yep. The key worked. Here we are in her office. Oh, here's the TV screen. Okay. So we're going to click this on and we're going to see what in the world this video footage is. Hmm. I don't know about this. 
forwards. I should have brought a lawyer. Rarest item in the game. There's only one mm. of these. The only one on the server. Let's see here. Okay. Plus fifty percent off the glass shop. We're gonna we're gonna try this out. Yay! Nothing offer's blew accepted. Up. Offer has been accepted. Hmm. Well, I would say that about sums it up. Okay, well, you know, I don't remember any of that happening. But, but, if that's what happened, if that's what happened, then I guess that's legit. I guess it actually did happen. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. <clears throat> Still got this stuff, this security footage we need to figure out. But this disc... This disc looks like it's going to fit into the machine over at our base. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run into town. I am going to leave a note for Aletha to come meet me over at the base because because I need to square this away with her. It's not right that that uh, that she thinks I've got a lawyer coming after her over diamonds that I think were, were swindled or something when they weren't. I need to make this right. So hopefully she can have a chance she can come over to the base. We're going to go back over and figure out what this security footage is all about. Well, here we are back at the base. I must tell you, I'm, this this place is starting to come together, really, really pushing it. But here we go. Here we go. The crazy new machine. That's right. Is this? Okay. Not fall sleeping stone. Get it? I wonder if anybody figured that one out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a really cool game to play, though. I really like that game. But let's go ahead and do this. We're going to put in the security footage. And turn the machine on. Here it goes. Has to warm up. We're going to hop in here, and we're going to see what in the world this security footage is all about. Shut that. Here it goes. Everything turns on. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember jumping up and down in front of her camera. Hey, Jay-Z. <laughs> that was fun. Um, oh. Oh, what was that? What's oh, cool. She did a... Whoa. Is that me running with a disc and the, the book? But I'm not going towards the machine. Why am I going towards town? Oh, maybe I took it to the iron farm? Huh. <gasps> They're not in my hand anymore. But I'm at the iron farm. Getting iron. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, this is crazy. Huh. That's some... Uh, that's pretty crazy. Just shut that down. Oop! Pinched me right in the backside. Come here, you. We'll take you out. Let's go ahead and put that game back in. I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> so, apparently, um, I put the book for the programming for that machine, and I put this disc over my mailbox? I mean, that was me running to the portal with the stuff in hand. I wonder when I had... I wonder... What? Okay. I don't get that. That is so odd. And apparently, I'm the one taking all the iron from the iron farm. But I'm going to be honest with you. Look. Do you see iron? Do you see iron? I, well, okay. So, that took iron to make. But I do not see an irons farm worth of iron in this base. So I don't really know what's going on. I've been up to something. Um, and the hospital can't help me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Got to close that door. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. This is the craziest thing. I tell you what I'm going to do. I, no. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and safely tuck this away and put that away. We're going to just fly over there. I am going to work on my mountain. And wait to see if Aletha can come over. Because we need to straighten that out with Aletha. 
And then hopefully by the end of the episode, we can get this figured out. And then we can go ahead and get a little home for the horses. All right. So y'all just sit tight. I'm going to go do a little off-camera work waiting for Aletha. We'll see if we can get her to come over today so we can straighten this all out. <laughs> Hey, Piggy. Hi. Whoa. Hey, Alita. How's it going? <laughs> Whoa, I got, I careful. Message. <laughs> I, Professional flyer here. Well, I was going to say, I'm putting blocks here, but where you were headed, there were no blocks yet. And just make sure. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so you got my message? I did. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So let's see mm -hmm. here. Um, I guess we're safe right here. If you're okay, staying right here. Okay, I won't move. Okay. Much. Well, I mean, you can move around a little, but... Oh, okay. But this is all spawn-proof right here, so where, where's the sun? <laughs> where is the... Okay. Okay, we got a few minutes. Okay, okay. so, um, yeah, I, I have to apologize. Uh, apologize for what? Things have gotten a little out of hand around here with lawyers and everything. Oh, oh, that, that little thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, so um, I, I spoke to Drema about representing mm -hmm. me. And she recommended I hire uh, JC to to install cameras. Have you seen the cameras? I haven't actually. Oh, come here! You got to see these. Cameras. Hmm. Oh, lag spike! And now I almost flew right into a stone. Okay, yeah, it's right over here near the entrance. Hmm. Right up here, hidden, sort of hidden. Oh, that's sneaky! Mm -hmm. I like that. And she's got a okay. We're gonna give her a free, uh, free okay, advertising so here. Right at the, right at the portal. I see. So, so if you want cameras for any other reason, here's the phone number to call right here. Oh, okay. Good JC, job. Excellent. Get you some cameras. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so JC set up some cameras in the base mm -hmm. and uh, recorded for a little while and sent me the footage. Yep. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I've been doing. Oh, here. I don't mean to hold my sword out. Um. I, apparently, I've been doing quite a bit of things in my sleep. Really? Yeah. Like like what? Well, so there's like footage of me delivering a disc and a book to uh, uh, taking it to town, I guess, putting it in my own mailbox. Um, apparently, I'm the one taking all the iron from the iron farm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoops. I don't know where it is. I'll be honest with huh. you. I, I have yet to find where i've stashed it all oh wait is that, that does that mean that you've been like sleep bargaining as well uh, okay so i'm glad you bring that up that's what i think happened mm -hmm. i got footage also of mm. me telling you that i would agree to give you money get diamonds or something for a tower yeah so apparently I okay. did, that did happen so you were asleep at the time interesting okay but I'm a pig of my word, and since I agreed to do it, you can keep the diamonds. Well, th there was a contract. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, speaking of which, um, you know there, that tower still doesn't have a name yet. Oh. And see if you if you had a chance to think of one. I you can well okay. Put that on there. I've got an idea for a name. Okay. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm yes. I'm gonna I'll get a book and I'm gonna write mm -hmm. in the book the name of the tower and tell you why the name of the tower and I'll put that in your mailbox. I like that. That's a great idea. That way I will not forget because I have the memory of a teaspoon. Now, why didn't you have that memory when it came to this contract? Well, because there might have been diamonds involved. Oh, okay. <laughs> Plus it was in writing. <laughs> it was in writing. Yes, exactly. Fair <laughs> enough. The, uh, fair the three enough. lawyer pigs keep me honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we resolved that. I didn't think there was anything bad going on, but I just, you know, I just wanted to make mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, never hurts to check. Okay. Well, and, I guess you know, how's how's the uh, how's your like? Where'd you put the head? Just out of curiosity. I, I you got me. Hmm. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You were asleep. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the cameras will reveal that too eventually. I have no idea <laughs> where. But it it hey, if mm -hmm. I don't know where an entire iron farm's worth of iron is, mm -hmm. you expect me to know where one player head is at in this place? Well, I was wondering if the smell would lead you there, but apparently it hasn't, so we're not going to worry about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, ooh, anyway, it is starting to get dark. It is time for it me is. to go in for dinner. 
Okay, sounds good. And I'm going to head back to my place for a bit. All right, but well, it was I'll get lovely that. Lovely meeting up with you. Yeah, I'll get that book for you and I'll get it in the mail. A S A P. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. And you might notice something there's some skeleton horses missing. <laughs> That's right. They have been relocated. Let's fly up here. I'll show you. I'll fly up here. I did a little bit more work after Aletha came by on the mountain, but since she had come by, I went ahead and decided to get over and work on these fellas area. What fellas? They're not here anymore. The horses are gone. Oop, you. Let's do this. Cause if I let you guys loose and I have carrots in my hand, y'all are going to go nuts and just like follow me there. Free range piggies. <laughs> Roam and be free. This could be your side of the mountain. Just don't be dumb and get into those bushes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice when you acknowledge somebody when they're talking to you. But yeah, I went ahead and moved the horses. So that way they've got a place. And I'll show you that in just a second. And that way we can also begin working. We're going to work on the rest of the mountain. And then I got a little bit of landscaping right in here idea that I want to, to use as well. And oh, we're going to, I'm going to have to pack all this up as well. I forgot about this stuff completely. Can you get it? It's okay. It's not a, oh, yes, yes. Awesome. I knew that they had made it finally where there was a special tool that would let you pick all that stuff up, but you know, like it goes, d they keep changing stuff. So you never know which version of Minecraft is. Look at that. It's nice. A big open field. Now it's all clean looking. I'm going to have to gather up my, my workstation in my bed eventually. Nice. Now, like I said, I will have to come over here and do a little bit of work because we do not want this to be spawn proof for sure. But we're about to go over and check out the, um, I got to eat. I'm sorry. <laughs> go over and check out the, uh, the horses. This little area right in here still needs a little bit of work, but that's okay. I'm slowly making progress. I'm going to really, really push myself to try and at least get this side of the mountain done i have no idea if i can get all of it done I'm just going to just going to keep trying not give up right but look at this after all this time we finally have the front area looking like a normal area should <laughs> so first thing i did is i went ahead and just covered up the portal with stone i know we had originally uh built it where it was birch wood around here because that matched the edge but I think with the uh, the stairs, the gates, the uh, the frames, all that ties together. And so I can make this look like it's just, you know, all made out of stone. So it's basically just natural, like part of the landscape and everything. But right here, we now have, when visitors come, if they want to tour the area, we have horse stables. So I got I got our main horse right here. That's right, Mr. Fast Fast Guy. You stay right there. And then just all the other horses. Some have saddles and some of them don't. Do you have a saddle? No, you don't have a saddle. And these guys don't have saddles. These guys definitely don't have saddles. It'd be really cool if you could put saddles on them. But anyway, and then right over here, we have just a little workstation. We got, you know, some horse feed in there and some water. We got leashes and an extra saddle and a bucket. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put... Um, we can do this. Hey, there's some hay in there. And I'm thinking about putting, uh, some apples and some carrots right in here. So that way these, oh, maybe, maybe we can put some sugar in there too. Cause I think they like sugar. And so that way they can have, they can, they've got a nice little area, just super simple. I kept trying to rack my brain. Like, what would I build? What would I build? And I finally decided, you know what? Just make this simple. Just make it super simple because it's right here at the beginning. It's just like a bunch of small little builds, just small little interesting builds, nothing spectacular or over the top because this is what's spectacular and over the top. We don't want to detract from that. So I think that's the way we're going to go with that. So I'm loving this. It, I tell you what, it feels so nice to look at an airy, area, airy. <laughs> I don't know what an airy is. Um, something with a bunch of air in it, I guess, but to be able to look at an area and to see it 
starting to take shape. It's starting to 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 tie together and look complete. It's starting to look like a completed area. So awesome. But, you're, but the, the more astute people see a book in my hand, probably trying to figure out what this book is about. So we're going to talk about it. It's going to be just a serious little moment, okay? But we are going to name the tower. We're going to name the Diamond Tower. Diamond Tower. We're not going to name it Diamond Tower. The book is about Diamond Tower. We're going to give this to Aletha, okay? So the year 2020 was a tough year for, for humanity, and many were lost. I personally know people who passed away due to COVID. Um, there were other people that passed away from other things. And then there are people that I know that lost people. And this is specifically what this is about. One close to me lost his wife last year. It was terrible. And her name was Samantha. So I want to name the Diamond Tower in honor of her and all who perished. Sincerely, Piggy. So that's what we're going to do. We are going... Uh-oh. I didn't mean to hit that screenshot button. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've already talked to him a little while back and uh, went ahead and got permission so that we could use her name. We're going to name that tower Samantha's Tower, and that is in memoriam of everyone that that each of you, each of you might have lost last year. Because I'm not going to lie, last year was pretty tough. Pretty tough for everybody, I must say. So, yeah. Serious little moment in a silly little game, but I tell you, <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm, I'm just loving this area. I'm loving how it's coming to get together, having a whole lot of fun and frantically trying to get this all done before, before the end of the season. Let's just fly up there one more time real quick and take a good look at the mountain, how it's coming along. But if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more of these as I release them, you're not already subscribed and you want to be, well, what's stopping you? Hit the subscribe button. Look at that. Oh, man, it's looking so cool. I tell you what. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't let me get in your way. Oh, no, we're going to land right here with the pigs. The pigs are going to get all beggy, and they want the food. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed making this episode, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode of Alpha Craft. <laughs>